You ever have one of those days that start out normal and end up with bullets flying? Well, you're about to. It's some crazy ass shit, but that's the hood. A hard place to live and an easy place to die. It was just another night when I got an urgent page from K-Dog, a major crack hustler I knew since Juvie. Dog, it's me. What's up? Fitty, I'm in fucking trouble, man. Can you meet me? Tell me where you at. 50 Cent, the hardest motherfucker on the streets. A lot of niggas found that out the hard way. And a lot more were about to. Lloyd Banks, he's a legend. The only thing he can't break into is his own stash. Tight with his money, but loose with other people. This is Young Buck. This nigga got crazy weapon skills. He had my back since preschool. If it's got a caliber, he used it. Let's go. We moving out. This is Jayo. Toe to toe, he'll fuck niggas up. He fast as shit, too. There's two things about me you gotta know. Make me your friend, I got your back for life. Make me your enemy, and the world ain't big enough for you to hide in. Where this nigga at, man? He said he'd be here. Oh, shit, man. They got the homie K-Dog hemmed up. Take him down now. Come on, man. Oh, man. I'm going after K-Dog. Man, I got your back. Let's do this. Let's smoke this thing. I'm done. Whatever you ready. Damn, you got skills, man. Freaking so quick. New York finest, yo. One thing's for sure, these motherfuckers had some real ass firepower. But whoever they were, this wasn't the time to stick around and find out.
150. I just fixed up one of your soldiers last week. Of course, he didn't come here with nine bullet holes. Doc, how'd I get here? <laughs> your boys brought you in here three days ago, half dead, if not more. Yo, man, try to relax. I'll give you something for the pain. <laughs> hey, we all need our medicine sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Doc Friday was a crazy fuck. An ex-doctor who lost his license when he started writing himself prescriptions. Some said he wasn't even a real doctor at all. All I know is he'd take care of me, fix me up, and keep his mouth shut. Yeah, some painkillers. Take some of these whenever you need them. And those suckers will get you through anything. They're addictive? Of course not. <clears throat> oh, by the way, those on the house. But next time it's gonna cost you. All right, We're back to sleep. Just close your eyes and think of pussy. Truth is, there isn't much else I could do. And the happiest thought I could think was finding the motherfucker who bent me up. A couple weeks later, I was back on my feet, but feeling weak as shit. It was time to get some help from my friends. Moet and Chandon were hoes, eternally grateful, cause I got them out from under their pimp. Bugs was the owner of a local pawn shop. A good dude to know if you needed information. <laughs> Once in a great while, he even sold something. He was in a wheelchair. Most people assumed from a drive pile. He started that rumor himself. Truth was, dumb fuck fell down an elevator shaft when he was 12. What the fuck? That's my stereo. And my plasma, too. What's all this doing here? You were shot nine times, dog. How'd I know you was gonna live? Man, get this shit delivered back to my crib. Hey, sorry, man. Sup, my nigga? Go check out Grizz, man. When's the last time a ghost put a boot up your ass? Yeah, I know you know this old class. Grizz was another friend, a Gulf War vet who enlisted because he liked to play with guns. Truth was, he still did, even though he lost his trigger finger in the war. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? You okay? Yeah. Moving a little slow. Don't worry about it. Time heals all wounds. Fuck that. I'm looking to create some wounds of my own. Tear up the motherfucker that did this to me. <laughs> shit, well for that, you're talking to the right nigga. I'm gonna need to get some of that shit. Well, shit, man, what you need to do first is see popcorn. You know, get your skills back together. That crazy ass motherfucker. With the help of some angel dust, popcorn escaped reality for good. Ha! Say hello to my little friend! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Give me that shit! What the fuck, man? You out your goddamn mind, you stupid fuck! Mama says, stupid is as stupid does. Hey, Popcorn's whole life was movies. He quoted them all the time. Before it shut down, he practically lived in this place. After it shut down, he did live in it. He turned it into a shooting range. <laughs> what is your major malfunction, numb nuts? Hey, my man has got to get his skills back together. When I'm done with you, you're gonna spit nails, you're gonna eat lightning and crap thunder. 
Just get me back in shape, Popcorn. Okay, but it'll cost you. One million dollars. How about this instead? <laughs> Go ahead. Make my day. Booker was a homeless dude. Started hanging out around the hood a while back. For some reason, K-Dog took a liking to him. Oh, hey, son. Good to see you back. Sorry to hear about your friend K-Dog, though. Terrible thing, that. Terrible. Thanks, man. See McVicker around? <laughs> the cop? Parked right up there around the corner. Is there anything you don't see? Can't see no leftovers. Here, yeah, man, take this, man. Get yourself some real food. Oh, bless you, son. God bless. Aaron McVicker was a corrupt cop. A rogue detective who played by his own rules. They said cops are made of blue. Oh, this cat was all about the green. Well, well, look who it is. For a while there, I thought I lost my best customer. It'll take more than nine bullets to bring me down. Yeah, thanks. I'll remember that. So what's up? I need some information. Ever see those skateboards? The new fiberglass ones with the chrome wheels? My kid loves those things. Fucking expensive, though. Especially on a cop salary. Here we go. What? I'm just saying. They're a lot of money. Okay, how much? For a fucking skateboard? Kids got expensive taste. So what do you want to know? I'm your 24-hour information station. You can start by telling me what happened to K-Dog. Last I saw, your boys was putting him in the squad car. And after that, the FBI took over the case. They're holding him as a witness. A witness to what? The fuck do I know? They got him in some safe house. Supposed to be talking to some federal prosecutor. Where is it? You actually think you can buy the location of a federally protected safe house with this? Where is it? I need to see K-Dog. Yeah? Well, I need to fuck a supermodel. Come on, McVicker. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll give you the address, but you're going to owe me one. A fucking big one. All right, all right. Where the fuck is it? It's in Scarsdale, up in uh, Westchester. You want to write this down? Give me a fucking pen. of it, K-Dog and the others never had a chance. Whoever did this took them by surprise. Seems those fucks who shot me took out Swan security, K Dog, and even the prosecutor. What the fuck is going on? The D, you need to find K Dog's stuff. Them feds would have taken all this shit and hid it somewhere in the house. Yo, that might contain some major evidence, man. So find it, nigga! Whatever info the prosecutor had was long gone. I figured maybe K-Dog could give me some answers. K-Dog had a bunch of tattoos, mostly gang-related. 
but this one was new, kind of strange looking. I didn't think much of it at the time. What's that they say about the best laid plans? Whoa! E How the fuck did you get in here? Is that any way to welcome a guest? What you want, McVicker? Well, I figured you might want to know that the guy fitting your description is the main suspect in the safe house murders. Your boy k Dog, the prosecutor, two federal agents. That's bullshit. I'm being set up. It's the same dudes who ambushed us that night. I know that. But you know how fucking cynical those feds can be, man. So what do I do? Well, I hear Australia's kind of nice this time of year. I never ran from nothing. Well, in that case, you better find out what the fuck's going on. And quick. Can you help me? Yeah, no problem. For the right price. Is money the only thing that matters to you? That's pretty funny coming from a guy who calls himself 50 Cent. I'll be in touch if you hear anything. And by the way, you're out of orange juice. With the feds on my trail, I knew I wouldn't have a lot of time. I need the answers fast. Shit, look at him rolling with this old school type phone. I'm looking to pull his messages. Think you can break his code? I can't. But this here can. Invented it myself. It's gonna cost you though. All right. Yeah, there it is. 69. All the pussy he got? I probably should have figured that out myself. I bet he got some freaky shit up on his messages. I'm going to put it on speaker. You have four messages. Message one. Hey, baby, it's me. Hit me back. Message two. Ooh, I'm missing you bad, baby. Call me. Message three. Where you at, motherfucker? You said you was gonna call me. Message four. k Dog, where you been? You were supposed to meet Spider with the transpo routes three days ago. After all the bullshit, I was finally getting somewhere. After cashing in some favors, Bugs traced a phone call to a junkyard run by some bikers in Brooklyn. In the drug game, the bikers were experts at transportation, moving anything and everything for the right price. They used the junkyard as a cover. Fuck are you? Here to see Spider. Supposed to drop off some transport routes. So you're the famous k Dog. That's right. Spider tells me you're late. Sorry, man. Things got fucked up. You're not following me. When he said late, he meant it like the late k Dog. Never seen a dead dude walking before. Calm down, son. Now who the fuck are you? Die, cocksucker! in the hand, free of charge. Stupid! 
stupid fuck! Ah, you prick! Yeah, eat your rights, motherfucker. Not only did these dudes sell used auto parts, they also sold another kind of junk, crystal meth. Howdy, fucker! You here to see me? Biker's been known for tattoos, but this dude had one I've seen before on k Dog. What the fuck's this tat me? <coughs> it's fuck you in Arabic! <laughs> Shit, I gotta get out of here. Thirty-eight something, Twelfth Avenue. Suck, my fuck, dick. <sighs> Sorry, motherfucker, but right now I need this more than you do. Hey there. Good morning. Hey, listen. There may be some people coming around here looking for me, okay? Uh, what kind of people? Government people in suits. All right, man. I'll keep my eyes open. You see anything? You let me know. First order of business was to visit Bugs. To see what he could tell me about this tattoo. <gasps> Damn, 50. This how you gonna wake a nigga up? What, you couldn't take a picture? I know you've seen worse than this. Now, does it look familiar or not? Yeah, actually. You know what? I seen one of these a month ago on some dude who was here with K-Dog. What dude? Who? Mm -hmm. Never saw him before. Well, what'd he look like? Real player. Chinese cat. Creepy motherfucker with an eye patch. Wu-Jang. Wu-Jang, Wu-Jang. Fuck I know. Lots more than you think. Obviously, these tats are some kind of code. Right, a code. Hey, nigga, don't leave this. I don't want it. What the fuck I'm supposed to do with this? I don't know. Make yourself a wallet. Welcome to Happy Gardens. Do you have a reservation? You looking down the barrel of it, motherfucker. There is no need for violence. Sit. Let us talk. You talk. I'll listen. You can start by telling me about that tattoo. This? Merely decorative. I appreciate design. Good friend of mine's like the two. Name of K-Dog. Never heard of him. Oh, yeah? I think a speed dial says otherwise. Okay. I knew him. Look. K-Dog was careless. You and me, we can do good business together.
shit. This fucking payday. I had assumed these guys were a rival gang, one I hadn't heard of. Turns out they were. A very big one. Oh, fuck. Gabriel Spinoza, special agent, drug enforcement agency. This was getting a lot bigger than I imagined. After a long, hard day, I was finally able to get some sleep. indicted his ass on some old corruption charges. In exchange for immunity, Petra agreed to sell out McVigor for enough shit to put him away for 20 years. But McVigor tracked him down. That's where I came in. Yo, you niggas lost? Nah, we right here where we want to be. You sure about that? I am if Petra's here. You need to get the fuck out of here, B. Guess there's nothing else for us to talk about. I don't know shit about those fucked up projects, man. All I know is, the place is all red. I'm surprised it's still standing. Oh, shit, I'm hit, nigga. You gonna die for that. 
Who wants some? Get some. So Like your friend's gonna have much to say to that prosecutor. Let's split up. We'll meet back in the hood. For my debt to McVigor paid, I was anxious to get back on track, learn more about that DEA agent, Gabriel Spinoza. For some reason, I couldn't shake the feeling that I'd met him before. Quite a busy day round here. Man in the suit come round just like you said. Wanted to talk to you. Did you get his name? His name was, uh, Spin something. Spinoza? Shit. He wants to do a lot more than talk. Sounds like you in trouble, son. If you only knew. Just like your pal, k Dog. What you know about k Dog? Uh, a few things here and there. Fuck, Booker. Why ain't you tell me? Come on, give it up. Quid pro quo, son. Don't I give you enough money? Who's talking about money? I'm just curious about what's going on. Yeah. Looks like you could use a drink. Let's step into my office. So, I figured it just like you did. Your friend k Dog was involved in some kind of drug conspiracy. And when the ship went sour, he called me for help. He didn't tell you nothing else? Names, places, nothing? Nah. You gonna finish that? 
sure would have liked to have seen me one of them tattoos. For what? You gonna break the tattoo code now? Hey, you never can tell, son. Let me ask you something. How well you know the city? When you homeless, you know the city better than you ever wanted. You know this address? Hmm. 12th Avenue. Probably a warehouse. That's the waterfront. Only one reason people in my business use the waterfront. You talking about a drug shipment? If this many families involved, it's gotta be huge. So it can't be that hard to track? Come on. Hundreds of ships come in that port every day, Booker. Look here. It with me, I narrow it down. Check the shipping schedules from the countries known to export drugs. How the fuck you come up with this shit? 22 years in the Coast Guard for the devil got me in his grip. <clears throat> That's the devil talking now. Yeah, I need some information about shipping schedule. What company you with? No company, just myself. Yeah, I can't help you. Ain't that public information? <laughs> right. What the fuck, man? I'm busy, kid. Yeah, you real busy. You looking for trouble? I'm looking for information. Yeah, well, uh, information ain't free. All right. What do you want to know? I need a list of all the ships coming through in the next week. From Colombia, Turkey, and Afghanistan. Jesus Christ, what else do you want? Yeah, let me check with my foreman. Yeah, yeah, Lou, it's me. Yeah, I got a guy down here who wants some info about shipping schedules. Colombia, Turkey, and Afghanistan. Yeah. All right, uh, have a seat. It'll just be a minute. You a coffee or something? Nah, I'm cool. Call me cynical, but when a dude goes from treat me like shit to offer me coffee in 30 seconds, I'd say that dude set me up. You're locked in, pal. You're gonna get a lot more than just shipping schedules. I think you're forgetting something. You're locked in, too. You liking this, you pussy, huh? Bring it on! After all that work, there was no way I was leaving without getting what I came for. Booker, I got it. Oh shit. Booker, get down. It's one thing to risk your own life, but the cause of death of an innocent person was something I'm not comfortable with. If I was to blame for Booker's death, I needed to know why. He was a good man. Yes, he was. You're 50 Cent. How you know that? My father told me all about you. I'm Alexa. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know Booker had a daughter. There's a lot about my father you didn't know. 
Is there somewhere we can talk privately? What I'm about to tell you is confidential. It's beyond confidential, actually. It's a matter of life and death. Don't worry. You can trust me. My father wasn't what he seemed. He was working undercover, deep undercover, for the government. What? He was a special operative for the CIA. Booker? So that's why you're pumping me for information. He was trying to bust a smuggling operation, something your friend K-Dog was involved in. Drugs? Bigger than that, but I'm not sure how. So why are you telling me all this? Why not just go to the feds? I'm a news reporter, okay? In my business, you learn a healthy mistrust of the government. Yeah, in my business too. They've been terrible through all of this. They wouldn't even let me see his body, arrange the funeral, or... Why not? For all I know, they're the ones who had him killed. As it is, they're denying any knowledge of his mission. I found this among his personal effects. Eduardo Vasquez, Spinoza Connection. Does that mean anything to you? It might. I need to check it out. In the meantime, you lay low, okay? You can stay here if you want. It's gonna be okay. I promise. I took the information and went to McVigor. Sometimes the only person you can trust is the last person you should trust. So I did some checking. Turns out you're right. Your boy Spinoza's bad news. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that when he tried to kill me in the subway. That might not have been the first time. What the fuck do you mean? Well, he was there the night of the ambush, too. Spinoza was the one who shot me. Well, don't be surprised if he tries it again. I'm fucking counting on it. So what can you tell me about this? Eduardo Vasquez. Sounds Spanish. Lupatra was right. You are a great detective. <laughs> what can I tell you? I never heard of the guy. Can you call it in? Sure, for a price. I gotta pay for my kids' karate lessons. How fucking much? Dave, it's me. I need a favor. What can you tell me about Eduardo Vasquez? Uh-huh. Right. No shit. Thanks, pal. Okay, you'll find Vasquez at this address. But I don't know how talkative he's gonna be. Yep, County Morgue, you kill him, we chill him. Sorry, ma'am, I, <laughs> I thought you were a buddy of mine. No, autopsy results are available only during business hours. Right. I'm looking for Eduardo Vasquez. Are you a relative? A friend. Mm-hmm. There you go. Fill that out. Look, can I just talk to him? <laughs> what are you, a wise ass? The fuck are you talking about? What, you make it a you make it a habit of talking to corpses? <laughs> now where the fuck is he? He's in a back room in a locker. Which one? Well, I don't know. I said I have to check the file. Uh, I can't do that while you're choking me, dude. Okay, Vesquez Eduardo, locker 312, brought in DOA two days ago. How'd he die? Uh, overdose. Yeah, balloon full of heroin or some shit burst in his stomach. He was a drug mule, huh? Take me to him.
back, you see. Alright dude, it's clear. I'm all over it. Popcorn! Pop, you here? Don't go jumping out from shit. I ain't got time for no games. What the fuck? What's this? Thanks, man. I would have taken him out myself, but they jumped me. You know, this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Who the fuck were those dudes? They were looking for you. I made them an offer they couldn't refuse, but it didn't work out. What happened? They refused it. Fuck all that now. I need to take a look at something. Ho ho ho! Righty then. What can you tell me about this Herald? Houston, we have a problem. That ain't heroin, that's pure Afghani opium. Opium? You sure? yippee ki -yay, motherfucker. Hey, where you going? Stay here before I put that gag back on. May the force be with you. Opium, huh? Now, there's a drug you don't hear about very often. I know. You don't see that every day. Thing is, I did just hear about it, though. Apparently some wise guy was arrested in Little Italy carrying a few grams. Which wise guy? Who? Have you ever seen those new uh, MP3 players that all the kids have? I know, I know. Your kids love them. How much, McVigor? One day you'll learn that money ain't everything. Right. And you'll teach me. All right. Tell me about this dude they arrested. Well, it turns out he's a confidential informant for the FBI, so the arrest wouldn't stick. Come on. They caught him with opium? And they tossed his case? That's one thing I learned from my dad. Work with the feds, they work with you. So what's this dude's name? He's confidential, remember? All I know is that he's part of Frank Capitolupo's crew. A rat working for the boss? How am I supposed to know who he is? Well, if he's a confidential informant, my guess is he'll be the one with the wire tape to his chest. Look, do yourself a favor, man. Don't go down there alone. These dudes don't fuck around. Well, neither do I. Just like a 
Please do not, motherfuckers! Come on, let's find Capital Lupo. You just did, asshole. I woke up after what seemed like hours. <laughs> when I saw what happened, I almost wish I didn't wake up at all. Ah, oh, fuck. Good, you're awake. Wouldn't want you to miss all the fun. Capital Lupo, you sick motherfucker. It's not me who's the sick one. It's my pal here, Sam the Butcher. Go on, Sam. Show them what happens to people who oh, don't man, mind their oh, own man. business. You don't have to be like this, man. Come on, man. You don't have to be like this. Come on. Come on, man. He's just a kid. As far as I'm concerned, he's just a piece of meat. I gotta say, kid, I admire your ambition. But the truth is, you ain't gonna do shit. Start with his legs. Cut this big shot down to size. What's this shit? Yo, 50, let's go! Looks like I got here just in time, man. I'm glad you're here. How'd you find me, man? Shit, Bugs hit me up, man. He's been watching. Looks like McVicka was right. There was an informant in Capital Lupo's crew. Shit, Capital Lupo himself. Guess you can't even trust the boss these days. I called McVicka and took the tape to Bugs, who was able to repair it before price. Mm, yeah. Okay, that ought to do it. So I talked to my guy. We're expecting two containers. You make security arrangements? I told you it's done. Fuck you worried about? What about transportation? We will need several trucks. Wait a minute, play that back. Why? What's the matter? The first voice is Capital Lupo. The second is Spinoza. I don't know who that third dude is. What about transportation? We will need several trucks. Definitely Middle Eastern. There's a ship docking today from Saudi Arabia called the Sultan. According to the manifest, there's two containers to be delivered in care of Maktada Mohammed. Of the Saudi Embassy. Mukata Kawahu? Yo, man, you get into some international type shit. Alex, what can you tell me about the Maktada Mohammed? According to my source at the Times, Mohammed's here on a diplomatic visa. Apparently, he's got ties to Saudi oil money and terrorism. So, why is a terrorist involved in a drug smuggling ring? And why was my father working? All good questions, guys, but who the fuck knows? Think about it. What's the one thing all these drug dealers have in common? Besides the fact they're scumbags? Their distribution network, working together. These dudes can move shit anywhere in the country in a matter of days. But aren't these drug dealers rivals? Exactly. Why would they work together? The same reason we do, for money. Spinoza's dirty, right? What if he broke a deal with Muhammad to pay dealers off in Afghani opium in exchange for distribution? Distribution of what? A diplomat with ties to terrorism? Anthrax? Weapons? There's two containers, McVicker, and I bet you only one of them has opium. And finding out what was in that other one is what got K-Dog and Booker killed. My father was with the CIA. He had to be investigating something. You're right. He was. Get the fuck out of my apartment! Alexa, hello? Alexa, what is it? Relax. It's all under control. Assuming you're smart enough to back off. Spinoza. Hey, got it on the first try. You are smart. You lay a finger on her and you're dead, you hear me? You're not exactly in position to be making threats, my friend. Now I've got some business to attend to. And if you ever want to see your girlfriend alive again, you'll let me attend to it in peace. Ah! I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. What the fuck are you doing? Sorry, pal, but you're under arrest. Under arrest? For what? Shit, I don't know. Pick something. 
The safe house murders? Are you fucking kidding me? Why are you doing this? Two containers full of opium and God knows what else? This is the bust of the fucking century, pal. You really think I'm gonna let you fuck it up for me? You sleazy cocksucker. 50! I'm gonna call a lawyer! Yeah, you do that. Oh, did I mention that you had the right to remain silent and all that shit? A lot. It would certainly appear that way, wouldn't it? But how? We're talking a car. Let's go. Grid saved my ass back there. I owe that nigga big time. I ain't gonna get caught off guard like that again. Lost some soldiers back there, too. Shit was brutal. In a matter of minutes, we located the Sultan. A large cargo ship with armed guards everywhere. I knew from how hard there was guard in this room, I must have found the right place. Turns out I was right. Freeze! Let her go! You were warned to stay away! Stay away? You're gonna answer for K-Dog. Then you're gonna answer for me. I'll kill her, I swear. I'll blow her fucking brains out. Don't fucking move! Back off, McVigor. You had to be a fucking hero, didn't you? <laughs> ah! Fuck! You stay here, I'm going after her. Where the fuck am I gonna go, man? He's close, I can feel it. Either I kill Spinoza or I'll fucking die trying. That's the deal. I'm ready. This shit ends tonight. someone 
Make sure they're fucking dead. This is 50. Are you sure you cool with this? Young man, we're the CIA. We're sort of trained to look the other way sometimes. But the police are coming, so I'd make it snappy if I were you. Thanks, Booker. No. Thank you. Guess I'll be seeing you around. You have my number. Though I'm not in the business of saving the world, I have to say finding those missiles did make me feel pretty good. Of course, we did get paid with enough product to control the drug game for years to come. How you feeling? I've been shot. What do you think? I think I got a pretty good idea how that feels. It was just business, 50. Nothing personal. You take care of yourself, McVigor. What's this for? I don't know. Spend it on your kid. Tell you the truth, I don't even have a kid. To tell you the truth, that gives me some hope for humanity. <laughs>